Now, Canada's envoy also reacted on the standoff uh, that is ongoing between India and Canada at uh, the UN on Tuesday. And uh, Canada's envoy expressed concern about foreign interference. So, addressing the 78th uh, UN General Assembly session in New York, uh, Canada's UN Ambassador Bob Ray say, said that democracies are under threat due to foreign interference and cannot bend the rules of the state to state relations for political expediency. And uh, at the same time, we put great emphasis on the importance of equality. So this is the statement that was made by Canada's uh, envoy at UN on the standoff between India and Canada. Let's listen in. At the same time, as we put great emphasis on the importance of equality, we also have to uphold the values of free and democratic societies. We cannot bend the rules of state-to-state -state relations for political expediency. Because we've seen and continue to see the extent to which democracies are under threat through various means of foreign interference. But the truth is, if we don't adhere to the rules that we've agreed to, the very fabric of our open and of our free societies may start to tear. So, Abhishek, we're coming back to you. So, Canada's envoy has expressed concerns over the foreign interference due to which uh, he believes that the democracies are under threat. Uh, well, uh, one can only say that Canadian authorities are not looking within while commenting us on such issues because uh, the kind of, uh, you know, hate mongering groups they have allowed to operate from the Canadian soil, which totally goes against the sovereign, sovereignty and territorial integrity and the national interests of India, uh, that could be very well, uh, you know, taken as an uh, interference by the Canadian uh, government because they have been protecting them politically and letting them be, uh, you know, hating and uh, creating all those hate mongering campaigns against Indian individuals, Indian uh, communities, Indian diplomats, uh, very well based in Canada. So far so that even, even if we talk about the Singh leaders case, there has not been any errors that has been made yet. Uh, I mean, somebody who has been killed in the broad daylight, uh, you know, because of and, and the several uh, dozens of people around in a few hundred meters away. Those people, those, uh, you know, assailants, they have fled from the spot and there has not been any evidence, there has not been any arrest, no questioning uh, so far by the Canadian authorities. And that kind of raises the question on their entire probing uh, ability and also whether there is any reluctance to probe it in the right direction. We have seen Washington Post reported that there were apparently six people who were involved in the killing, two vehicles was involved in the killing, and uh, many people that the Washington Post tried to talk about, they have said that there was some kind of reluctance to go ahead and push the people who were present around the scene during the during the incident. So uh, that that should be the concern of the Canadian authorities how they are proving the the overall the entire case rather than pointing fingers to a country which apparently has no role because no, no intelligence has been uh, you know credible enough that they could share it with india they have just said they have credible allegations but they need to have proof beyond suspicion then only probably the canadian prime minister have stood on the floor of the house and alleged such a such a huge and massive allegation against a strategic partner that canada calls uh, in the indo-pacific region Right. Abhishek, please stay with us as we have some more breaking news coming in on the story.